Two and a half years passed from the time Sasuke left the Hidden Leaf. Naruto grew stronger as Jiraiya's pupil, and Sakura studied medical ninjutsu under Tsunade. Now full-fledged ninja, they joined forces with Kakashi, their former captain. Kakashi announced that he would test their abilities by having them undergo the same trials as in the past. Well, same rules as three years ago. Just take these bells from me. Of course, if you don't come at me aggressively, you'll never get the bells. We'll show Kakashi-sensei exactly what we're made of. Yep, we'll show him what the training did. Now then, let's begin. Yeah! Yes! I guess I'll have to be tougher on you. I'll finish this in one shot! There's no way we can lose! Ha! Cherry Blossom Blast! I get a feeling I'm gonna have to take these guys more seriously this time. Better back off. Here I come! Here I come. Rasengan! Pretty impressive. <laughs> You've gotten stronger too, Sakura. Have you leaving me behind, Naruto? You better back off. <laughs> Not bad. Fire style! Fireball Jutsu! That's huge! Now! Oh, wow. Here goes! Secret finger jutsu! Thousand years of death! All right! Huh? Phew. That was too close. Right on, Ka Lightning blade! Dodge this! 
Fire style, fireball jutsu. <laughs> How's this? Water Dragon Jutsu! You guys are... Water Style Water Dragon Jutsu! Sakura! Naruto! <gasps> Multi Shadow Pose Jutsu! They've really grown. <laughs> I didn't think you'd manage you to great, take the bells. Sakura. You too. <laughs> All right. Maybe I'm even stronger than you now, Kakashi. Stop acting so conceited. Anyway, you both passed the test, and you'll be going on the next mission with me. They thereby demonstrated to Kakashi that they were no longer students, but rather qualified shinobi worthy of trust. And with that, Team Kakashi was formed. Just then, Naruto suddenly received some unexpected news. Gara, who once competed ruthlessly at the Chunin exam and now served as the Kazakage, had been abducted by a member of the Akatsuki.
The Akatsuki had a plan to extract the tailed beasts from the Jinchuriki, such as Naruto and Gara, to use them for their own nefarious purposes. To rescue Gara, Naruto and his friends attacked an Akatsuki hideout. There, Naruto found Deidara, who had abducted Gara, along with Gara's lifeless body, which had had Shikaku ripped from it. Naruto chased after Deidara, and they engaged in battle in the forest. Understanding the agony Gara must have endured, Naruto erupted in a violent rage against the barbaric Akatsuki. Give me back Gara! <laughs> Bring it if you can. You. I can never forgive you! With the help of friends, he drove Deidara off and recovered Gara's body. There was no one, however, who could bring him back from death. Why Gara? Why is it always him? I'm down, Naruto Uzumaki. Shut up! If you say a ninja hadn't put that monster in Gara, none of this would have happened! Did you ever consider what Gara thought? Did you ever even ask? You call him a Jinchuriki? For you to decide that fate for someone else! Naruto wailed in grief. Moved by this display, Granny Chio, a prominent figure in the hidden sand, gave her own life to bring Gara back from the dead. She did this because of her faith in the ability of the young to change the future. Naruto. Lady Chio entrusted the future to you and Gara. It was a death befitting a ninja. Yeah, same as the old man, the third Hokage. Recalling that the third Hokage had held the same sentiments, Naruto resolved to carry that hope forward.
With the information regarding Orochimaru that he had obtained during his fight with the Akatsuki, he set out for their hideout with his friends and Sai, a new member of Team Kakashi. There, Naruto was met by Sasuke, who had developed at an alarming rate under Orochimaru's training. For the first time since their clash in the final valley, the former teammates were reunited. Sasuke, I found you! I'm sick of you showing up all the time. Now I'll just cut you off completely. Put a scratch on me. Ah! 
Naruto and his friends. I want to see it for myself. Connect. You're as slow as ever. You got Sengon! There's nothing more foolish than being tied down by others. Having too many ties in this world only leads you astray. It weakens your ambitions. If I have any connection at all, it's not with you. My only connection. Is one of Chikori's free! Oh no! Multi Shadow Clone Jutsu! Can't you understand? Sasuke! <laughs> what happened to you? Right there. I'm right here. I have my own path to follow. Stay out of my way. Orochimaru wants you as his vessel. It doesn't matter. As long as I achieve my goal, that's enough. I'll protect our connection no matter what it takes! Oh, yeah? Then all I have to do is cut it off. I'm right here. I'm right here. Right here! Not bad. <laughs> Playtime is over. I'll finish you here once and for all. Too slow. I'm right here. I'm right here. Enough talk. You're still a child. Naruto! Fire style! Fireball jutsu! Sasuke! Sasuke! Without so much as a nod in Naruto and Sakura's direction, Sasuke left with Orochimaru. Sasuke! I couldn't stop him again. I... I'm weak. So that's the extent of your bond. 
No, it isn't. In that case, everything's fine. You can still bring Sasuke back. Sai. Thanks. For real. Lamenting his inability to stop them, Naruto vowed to become stronger. With painful memories of his failure at Orochimaru's hideout, he decided to train under Kakashi. At that same time, the Akatsuki's movements intensified, targeting Jinchuriki in various lands. Receiving reports that Akatsuki members had invaded the Land of Fire, the Hidden Leaf dispatched a strike team to stop their rampage. However, the team struggled in its fight against the all but immortal member of the Akatsuki, known as Kakazu. Having just completed training, Naruto rushed to their aid. Naruto Uzumaki. I didn't think you'd come for me. <laughs> you saved me some time. I'll get you! You're alone? I think you're underestimating me. But now I can easily catch you. So it actually works out well for me. I'll take you out with 
My jutsu! No matter how powerful your jutsu, it can't be my experience. <laughs> this can't be. They'll never stop me. <laughs> Dare you! Rasen Shuriken! Hit it! And so, Naruto bested a mighty foe who had once been considered unbeatable. Seeing this, Kakashi could see that the youth were ushering in the winds of change. Naruto has become strong, truly strong. He's practically surpassed me. Can you sense it? You're always in his mind, inspiring him. You make him strong. You do know that. Don't you, Sasuke?
While Naruto's victory over Kakazu demonstrated his tremendous growth, major changes were also taking place in the Orochimaru faction. Sasuke had rebelled against his master. Orochimaru had been severely weakened when the third Hokage sealed his arms, and now Sasuke had surpassed him. And now Sasuke had no use for him. Seeking to usurp Orochimaru's power for his own, Sasuke sought to assassinate him. I knew this time would come, Sasuke. There's nothing more you can teach me. I'm finished with you. It ends here. than you. Listen to the little chips. I guess the fledgling is all you could get your hands on. It didn't work with Itachi. Is that why you came after me? You still couldn't do it in the end, though. You couldn't equal the Uchiha, let alone overcome it. No matter how much of a genius you are, you're just a normal man before the Uchiha. You can't win, Orochima. It's impossible for you to take my pot. <laughs> you may be the first person to ever make such a fool of me. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps I'll make more of a serious. I won't let you escape. No. I'm amazed you've done this well. Take this! Every genius dwindles to mediocrity before a new Chiha. A snake that crawled on the earth dreamt of soaring through the sky, knowing full well it was impossible. Still, in vain, it nurtured a baby bird in its own nest, failing to realize that the bird had become a hawk and the snake was now its prey. This can't... This can't be happening! I am Orochimaru. I am immortal! I will not die here! I... I am the one who will unlock the mysteries of nature! I am the one who will receive everything! I am... I will take your power. Defeated by Sasuke's visual prowess, Orochimaru was overthrown. After biding his time for so long, Sasuke could finally begin his quest for vengeance.
Gathering a small team to himself and naming it Hebi, Sasuke began to plot his revenge against Itachi. However, Akatsuki member Deidara launched a surprise attack while Sasuke was operating alone and separated from his allies. Deidara had intended to kill the treacherous Orochimaru, and so he resented Sasuke for beating him to the punch. Sasuke endured a great barrage from Deidara's artistic ninjutsu, which defeated Gara in the past. You're going to tell me about Itachi. If you can beat me, I'll tell you anything. Sure. Like you took down a Rochimaru. You were just born into good stuff. Quit acting so smug. Why oh, you? Right there. Hey, Toby. Check out that glare. This guy's worth picking apart. Hmm. Aw, we'll have to apologize to Itachi later. Gross. Oh. You doing? You figure out oh. this guy moves too fast. We can't keep up. You heard the mask. There's no point in fighting any longer. You lose. Now tell me about Itachi. We're blabbering you, Minnie. We're just getting started. You, you're gonna keep going? Right here. Don't underestimate the Uchiha. Is that how little you fear me? But Deidara was enraged when Sasuke demanded information concerning Itachi, because he felt his art was being disrespected. Deidara had once sensed something artistic in Itachi, and for that reason, he became obsessed with Sasuke. I'll show you my biggest, ultimate, maximum explosion. Is he going to... Struggling is useless. You can't run from an explosion. You're doomed to disintegrate here. Now are you afraid? Cower in awe, recoil in despair, cry your heart out. Because my art... is an explosion! Shaken by anger and humiliation, he detonated himself to achieve the ultimate art form with the aim of killing Sasuke simultaneously. Sasuke, however, employed a transportation technique an instant before the blast and managed to escape the explosion. Once and for all, Daedra's art failed to impact the Uchiha.
By then, rumors of Orochimaru's defeat at Sasuke's hands had reached the Hidden Leaf. Naruto and his allies began a search to recover Sasuke, narrowing their focus to Sasuke's objective, Itachi of the Akatsuki. Eventually, it was Naruto who succeeded in confronting Itachi. If I capture you, I can see Sasuke! You won't get away! Why are you so fixated on my brother? He's a rogue ninja. Why am I so fixated? That's easy! Because I'm more his brother than you ever were! Sasuke were to attack the hidden leaf village. What would you do then? I would defend the village! And I'd find a way to stop Sasuke without killing him! You're such a child. Your tales are mere fantasies. Ninja must sometimes make very harsh decisions. Yeah, someone told me that before. Yes. But there's no choice here. I never go back on my word. That's... Okay. My ninja way! There we go. Naruto Uzumaki, you've grown stronger. If I defeat you here and now, Sasuke's bound to come back! Only the place where you want to. If I beat you, Sasuke comes back to the Hidden Leaf Village. So let's do this! I have shared some of my power with you. What's the big idea? Weren't you coming after me? I'm going now. I have an important matter to attend to. After hearing Naruto's feelings concerning Sasuke, Itachi had no further interest in fighting and left. In doing so, he failed to defeat or capture the Jinchuriki, Naruto. However, Itachi's behavior did not make sense to Naruto.
Upon identifying the location of the supposed leader of the Akatsuki, Jiraiya infiltrated the Hidden Rain Village alone. There, he encountered Pain, who appeared to be his former student. Pain was plotting to mass-produce weapons which employed forbidden jutsu powered by the tailed beasts. Although Jiraiya's initial objective had merely been to gather information, he decided he could not leave Pain be. The term Child of Prophecy, which had once been revealed to him, came into his mind. It was said a student of Jiraiya's would bring either peace or destruction to the ninja world. He decided to confront Pain in order to rectify his pupil's errors and thereby thwart the Akatsuki's ambitions. I'll put an end to this miserable world. It's God's work. You are a poison to the world. I will take the responsibility of destroying you. That's the last thing I can do for you as your master. So I believed you died the world from chaos into order. But I was mistaken. The Akatsuki brings chaos now. It seems that something went wrong with your development. <laughs> this world has not grown. But we have. Bringing us in this enhanced state. <laughs> Goodbye. Pain's power allowed him to revive himself no matter how many times he fell, and so it was Jiraiya who met defeat. You never gave up, no matter what. So... As your teacher, I... I must not give up. With his last ounce of strength, Jiraiya left a clue toward the nature of Pain's power. For he believed that Naruto was the child of prophecy who would bring peace to the ninja world.
Meanwhile, at an Uchiha hideout, Sasuke and Itachi came face to face. In his conversation with Sasuke, Itachi mentioned a third man who possessed Sharingan. Madara Uchiha, one of the founders of the Hidden Leaf, who had fought to his death against the first Hokage, Hashirama Senju. To avoid losing his sight at the cost of Mangekyo Sharingan, Madara took both of his younger brother's eyes. Itachi then declared that the reason he let Sasuke live was because he intended to use his eyes as his own replacements. It's time I settled the score with you, once and for all. Such confidence. But even with those eyes, you see nothing. You grasp nothing. You are wrong. There is one thing my eyes see clearly. I see your death, Itachi. Me dead at your feet, huh? Let's get to it. That night, the night you destroyed the Uchiha clan. Did you really do that alone? No matter how good you were, you couldn't have taken down the entire clan. There must have been someone else there that night. So you figured it out. There! Right there! No, fire style! Fireball jutsu! Chidori! Who was it? Who helped you? Marara. One of the founders of the Hidden Leaf Village. An immortal man who is both my friend and my mentor. Firestar! Fireball! Amaterasu! Over. Is this the death you imagined for me? <gasps> you really have gotten stronger, Sasuke. Without this, I would have been dead. <gasps> now I get serious. And now for the trump card, the Susano. Susano. Chidori. Nuisance. What are you aiming at? Fire style. Fireball. Fire style. Fireball. Jutsu. Chidori. There. Fire style. Fireball. Jutsu. All people live as prisoners of their own knowledge and perception. They call it reality. If knowledge and perception are ambiguous, that reality may be an illusion. 
thinking Madara is dead is just your arbitrary assumption. Sasuke, your eyes You can never beat me. Uh, still moving? Chidori. Did you try to get some space? Nuisance. Chidori. What will you do about this, Sasuke? Take this! Chidori. Chidori Blood Fire Style, Fireball, Fire Style, Fireball Jutsu. Did you try to get some space? Chidori. Nuisance. Get right there. What are you aiming at? Still. Chidori. are mine. What are you saying? Isn't there anything I can do? How can I defeat him? Give up. You've lost. Shut up! What should I do? There's nowhere to run. Stay back! Come on!
You're Big hopeless. brother, let's go home together. Why would you My foolish do something little brother. like this? Go ahead and hate me. You promised to teach me a new shuriken jutsu. Maybe another time. Big brother, you're so far away. There's no duo like you and me, bro. I'll always be with you. And when this deadly combat came to a close, Sasuke had vanquished his clan's mortal enemy, Itachi. But then Tobi appeared. He revealed himself to be Madara Uchiha, Itachi's collaborator, and the third man who possessed Sharingan. Tobi revealed the truth concerning Itachi, which greatly shocked and confused the exhausted Sasuke. Itachi had been acting fully under the orders of the Hidden Leaf's leaders. It was at their command that he had destroyed his family and become a rogue ninja and reviled criminal. The Uchiha clan had been planning a coup. Sorry, Sasuke. This is it. Sasuke finally understood. Itachi had risked everything for the sake of the ninja world, the Hidden Leaf, and his younger brother. No longer the heavy, we have shed our skin. From now on, our team will be the Hawk. We are the Taka. The Taka shall have but one motive. We exist to destroy the Hidden Leaf. Changing his team's name to Taka and joining forces with the Akatsuki, Sasuke resolved to take revenge on the Hidden Leaf. Led by Sasuke, 
Taka divided into groups with the Akatsuki and infiltrated the Hidden Mist Village to hunt a tailed beast. At Stormcloud Ravine, they squared off against Killer Bee, the Eight Tails Jinchuriki. You're Killer Bee, the Eight Tails Jinchuriki, right? Who the heck are you? Fools? You fools? I'm under no obligation to tell you. Done. You take them. Great. Chidori. With Killer B capable of fully controlling Eight Tail's power, Taka was driven to the brink of defeat. But Sasuke activated Mangekyo Sharingan and unleashed Black Flames to knock out Killer B and capture him. This convinced Sasuke that he was now powerful enough to exact revenge on the village. As promised, I've delivered the Eight Tails to you. Nice work. I knew you could do it. Where are you going? First to heal, then to the Hidden Leaf. I'll show the Hidden Leaf villagers my pain, my thirst, my despair, and this hatred of mine.
As Sasuke was capturing Killer B, Pain moved to assault the Hidden Leaf. His target was Naruto, the final Jinchuriki. One after another, the six paths of Pain bested the village's elite ninja, and the Hidden Leaf was utterly destroyed. Time to deliver pain to the world. Almighty push! The people felt hopeless before pain's awesome power. Naruto, sensing the disturbance, rushed to the leaf. With tremendous sadness and anger at seeing the village's wretched state, he charged into battle against pain. <laughs> you take me on alone. That's a choice you regret. I'll never forgive you! Like Jiraiya Sensei. Jiraiya Sensei? I too heard Jutsu from Jiraiya. He was my teacher at one time. He was a disciple of me. Students of the same master. We ought to be able to understand each other. Master wanted me. Shut up! I'm not going to be part of any of this! You cannot see the forest for the trees. You are simply incapable of comprehending the true meaning of this. Just allow me to capture you. Your death shall be peace. Shut up! I said shut up! Not bad. Sage Jutsu, right? It's over. Let's settle this, Ninetales. The 
closer! Station! Planetary devastation! expected this. The Nine Tails' power is magnificent. It hurts. Somebody. Help me. I can't. You giving up over this? Are you sure you're my son? You're the fourth Hokage? I set up the seal spell to appear within your psyche once you sprouted the eighth tail. Truth be told, I hoped it would never get to this point. But then again, I was looking forward to meeting my son as a young man. So I guess it all evens out. Dad, you're my... The fourth Hokage's my... Dad. You seem to have had so much trouble since I sealed the Ninetales in you. I'm sorry. I always wanted to ask. Why? Why did you seal the Nine Tails inside of me? I sealed the Nine Tails chakra inside you because I trusted that you would master that power. I thought the power would save you when you were up against powerful opponents. 
I believed you'd be strong enough to overcome the very worst evil that would ever attack the Hidden Leaf Village. That's just selfish. Yes, it was. But since you're... Since you're my son, I was sure you could do it. The Hidden Leaf Village was destroyed. I saw from inside your mind. I know about Jiraiya Sensei, too. Hatred is never born from nothing. Fights begin when people try to save what's precious to them. When they lose those things, hatred takes over. Then Pain lost something, and that's what made him what he is now? That I don't know. But there is no hatred without a cause. In the end, being a ninja means fighting that hatred. Every ninja fights against it. Jiraiya Sensei left a quest to you, to find a solution that would end this hatred. But I can't forgive pain. I just can't. Please tell me, Forth. What should I do? You have to find that answer yourself. Even I don't know it. I believe in you. Now it's time for me to go. My chakra's fading. I will rebuild the seal, but this is the last time. I'll always be on your side. Do your best. Naruto. Thanks, Dad. I'll... I'll try. His father appeared in a vision to provide encouragement. Regaining his senses, Naruto returned to the real world where pain awaited. Ghost of a chance. Give up! You first! What? 
You should give up. On me giving up! Ah! <laughs> In the midst of battle, Hain explained to Naruto that his objective was to create peace and establish justice. This world of ninja is ruled by hatred. To bring about true change, the world must first understand the horror of true suffering. Naruto was able to discern the location of Nagato, Hain's true form, and they engaged in direct battle. During this fight, they discussed how the cycle of hatred could be broken. Pervy Sage believed in me and left me this quest. So I gotta believe what he believed. I'll believe in my master till the very end! How can I believe Jiraiya's words after all this? There's no such thing as true peace. Not so long as we live in this cursed world. In that case, I'll break the curse. If there's such a thing as peace, I'll find it. Not giving up! The day will come when all people will understand one another and live in harmony. After hearing Jiraiya's words, Nagato decided to trust Naruto. With the last of his power, he revived the village's dead and then passed away. Naruto vowed to advance the ideals that had been entrusted to him by his teacher and elder fellow pupil.
Elsewhere, although Killer B was thought to have been captured by Sasuke, he had managed to safely escape the Akatsuki using substitution jutsu. Unaware of this, his elder brother, the Raikage, became furious and made preparations to hold a Five Kage Summit. Meanwhile, in the Hidden Leaf, the hardliner Danzo Shimura was installed as the Hokage in place of Tsunade, who had been wounded during Pain's assault. Danzo hoped to use the summit to solidify his path to becoming the Hokage. Amid clashing views, the summit grew heated. Suddenly, the Taka launched an assault led by Sasuke. The highest priority target on Sasuke's quest for revenge was none other than the Hokage Danzo. But before Sasuke could strike, the Raikage blocked his path and drew him into combat. You, enemy of B, my brother! I, the Raikage, will finish you personally! I only want Danzo. Everything else will destroy. I won't get away! I'm gonna teach you the fear of true fury! Let me give you a taste of total defeat! You get out of my way! I'll cover for you, but you better be careful. What are you doing? Nimble little. You're more stubborn than I thought. Try taking that. No one defeats the right target. She's doing it. Come on, us! Drop dead! The five Kage can't hope to stop me. The Uchiha are above that. Hm. You take them. Great. Playtime's over. It's time to finish you off. With Sasuke on the attack and the Raikage on defense, a life-or-death battle erupted. Don't underestimate the Raikage! But Gara, the Kazakage, intervened in the mayhem.
He called on Sasuke, his one-time rival during the tuning exams, to stop fighting. The hatred that consumed him had turned his heart cold, just as Gara's heart had been. Do not let hatred chase you into a world of solitude, or you will never return. I walk in darkness. I don't intend to listen to you. With tears, Gara accepted that his responsibility as Kazekage was to eliminate Sasuke. Chase you into a world of solitude, or you will never return. But my turn? So, if I were to return, what is there for me on your side? Yes, it's useless. If he could be convinced, Naruto wouldn't have failed. The moment he attacked the summit, he became an international criminal. He's got no future anymore anyway. Sasuke, you're a lot like me. You've been walking through this world in darkness. That's why even a tiny ray of light ought to reach your eyes. Your hatred is far from equaling mine! My rage! My despair! They surpass yours! Right here! Already! Amaterasu! Follow me. Follow me. Miss. I'm at it. Us. You can't escape. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Too slow. Let's do this! Right here! Stay alert! I'm amazed you've done this way. Take me! It's my turn! I'm on to Follow me! Already! Follow me! I'll do this in one shot. I'm on to Drop dead! Things that I seek now lie only in the darkness. You were a rather impressive boy, but it ends here. I've got no grudge against you. But many ninjas seek your death. Goodbye. <gasps> Particle style, atomic dismantling jutsu. Sasuke, wounded and in danger, Toby burst onto the scene and saved him. Toby disclosed his Tsuki no Me plan to the Kages. His goal was to revive Ten Tails, the combined form of the Tailed Beasts, and serve as its Jinchuriki. He planned to use such tremendous chakra to cast Genjutsu on the moon to spread infinite Tsukuyomi across the entire world. 
Toby's ambition was to use Genjutsu to create a world without strife. He demanded the release of the remaining eight tails and nine tails, but the Kages refused. I may not have strength, but I do have the powers of the tail beasts. You have no chance of winning. We won't abandon hope. <laughs> Very well. With the summit ending in failure, Toby declared the start of the Fourth Great Ninja War. Although Donzo had withdrawn from the summit, Toby drew him into an unavoidable confrontation with Sasuke. Sasuke seethed with murderous intent. Seemingly trapped, Donzo audaciously declared that he would take Sasuke's eyes.
The true nature of ninja is darkness. Since you do not understand that, you'll fall here. Before I finish you off, there's one thing I want to ask you. Is it true that it was on your orders that Itachi and Shiva slaughtered my clan? I didn't think he was that kind of man, Itachi. He told you everything with his dying breath, didn't he? It seems you alone that you were special. So it is true. <laughs> Self-sacrifice. That is the essence of ninja. Never to see the light of day, but rather to serve the shadow. It isn't just Itachi. Many ninja have died just so. It is thanks to them that peace has been made. But Itachi, by revealing his secret to you, finally truly betrayed the leaf. Do not speak further of Itachi. <laughs> I'm amazed you've done yeah. yeah. it. Hmm. Ah. 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 Drop dead. This is a battle fought with the eyes. Do not mock the Uchiha. Do you understand? My despair will swallow even your darkness. Now that's battling with your eyes. Do not mock the Uchiha. This will be a battle fought with the eyes. I will not fall. I am a reformer. I will not permit anyone to halt my progress. For the sake of the ninja world, I will press forward. One down, big brother. Without wavering, he claimed his revenge against the Hokage. Sakura rushed to the scene. Unable to restrain Sasuke, she found herself in the path of a blow filled with malevolent intent. Naruto intervened in the nick of time.
Just a little more and I'll know the answer. I feel it. I'll find the answer. In this fight. I'll crush you. He was lying. But it doesn't matter. What you've been doing, I get it. I'm right here. Rasengan! You possibly understand. What do you, with your parents or siblings, possibly know about it? Why don't you just shut up? Not at all. I'll destroy you. Bob severed long ago. Stop acting like my best friend. My hatred will never end until I crush the leaf. I will take all your hatred. I'm right here. I'm going to protect the bond between us. Right here. Try this. Right here. Too slow. Too slow. Right there. Take me. Right. right there. Right here. Right here. Sasuke, I'm happy I was able to meet you. You know, Sasuke. You and I. Our roles could have been reversed. Rasengan! Chidori! And so, Naruto and Sasuke met again, this time as first-class ninja. In that brief moment, they communicated their feelings wordlessly. I had nothing, but I built bonds. And then in our missions as Team Seven, I kept chasing after you. I wanted to be like you. So, Sasuke, I've never said it before, but... I'm happy. Happy I knew you. Sasuke was entirely unmoved. What do you want? Why are you so obsessed with me? Because we're friends. Fine. I'll kill you first. I haven't proven myself to you yet. To 
declaring his intention to annihilate everyone from the Hidden Leaf, including Naruto, he vanished along with Tobi. In response to Toby's declaration of war, the five great nations formed the world's first ever allied shinobi forces. In order to protect the Jinchuriki, Naruto, and Killer B, it was decided that they would be sent to an island near the Hidden Cloud Village. The two Jinchuriki made fast friends, and Naruto learned how to control a tailed beast from Killer B. To control a tailed beast, a Jinchuriki must use their human chakra to seize the spirit chakra. However, the risk that the Jinchuriki's chakra will be taken instead makes it a dangerous gamble. You're hoping to gain control over my power. Do you really think you can win? I got this! You know, but he's strong as ever, a formidable foe. Reducing his strength is your first priority. Otherwise, you can't take his chakra, you see? Yes! I'll distract 
nothing from the eight tails tootsie so when I get the word, look for your chance, yo! The nine tails attack is quite shocking, but by summoning my octa beast, we can stop it! Call me if you need help with the fight! I'll back you up like a pro, alright? with your operation. Thanks, Octobops! Don't let him push you around, you fool! You fool! Naruto tried to control Nine Tails' chakra. But under the influence of the hateful spirit, he was almost overcome by its malevolent voice. Just then, someone special appeared to strengthen his resolve. You stay here. Don't go anywhere. Naruto. I've... To meet you for so long, you know? Mom? Get out of my way, Kusama! 
Shina. Minato included my chakra in the ceiling jutsu, so I'd appear when you tried to control the Ninetales. So that I couldn't lend you a hand. What is it? Is there something on my face? I... I was thinking about how lucky I am to have such a beautiful mom. Oh, <laughs> well thank you. You have your father's hair, but I'm sorry you got stuck with my face, Naruto. Why? I got my good looks from you, right? I even wish I'd gotten your straight red hair. It's totally awesome! <laughs> that makes you the second man who has complimented my red hair. Yeah? So who's the first? Who do you think? Your father, of course. Hey, hey, there's something I've always wanted to ask you. How did you and Dad fall in love? When we first met, your father Minato and I were both still little kids. I have a slightly special chakra, and I was kidnapped by the Hidden Cloud Village because of it. But I knew I had to do something in order to leave behind a trail while I was being led away. I snipped off and dropped strands of my hair, carefully, so the enemy wouldn't notice. The Hidden Leaf Village immediately put together search parties, but they had a hard time finding me. We were almost to the border, and I thought that I was done for. But then... Was that when... Yep, Minato was the one who rushed to my side and rescued me. He was the only one to notice the strands of my red hair. He told me it was because my hair is so pretty. The red hair that I had always hated had brought me the man of my dreams. My hair became my red thread of destiny. After that, I grew to like my hair, and more importantly, fell in love with Minato. There are certain words I only bestow on the men who compliment my hair. Will you accept them? Naruto? I... love you. Emboldened by his mother's love, Naruto freed himself from the malevolent voice and took aim at Nine Tails once again. I'm overflowing with power! Now's my chance! I'm ready! I'll win this fight! Stay calm. If you carefully watch his movements, you'll spot an opening. Yes, miss! I'll stop him. Now! Get him! Keep it up! 
getting pretty weak, Ninetales. Yeah! Watch out, here I come! Shadow Clone Jutsu! Take this! Rasengan Super Barrage! Naruto, are you okay? Strong, no? Don't worry. Leave this to me. I'll stop him. Now! Get him! Why you? Little rat. Now, time for a counterattack. Once and for all! Once Nine Tails had been tamed, Kushina apologized to her son for making him a Jinchuriki. Naruto, however, expressed his gratitude. He was happy. Because he knew that his parents truly loved him, he was proud to be their son. Minato, are you listening? Our hopes did reach our boy. Naruto, thank you for letting me become a mother. And thank you for letting Minato become a father. Thank you so, so much for being born to us.
I am Naruto Uzumaki, Leaf Ninja. My dream is to become Hokage. And to surpass all other Hokage. To become an even cooler guy than Dad. And an even more powerful ninja than you, Mom. <laughs>